Bienvenidos a Vida Abajo Los Mangos. Welcome to Life Under the Mangos. Join us for the next few minutes as we show you an exciting new ministry center that the Lord is building through the team of missionaries from Mission to the World here in La Ceiba, Honduras. Recently, the Lord has blessed our missions team with the resources to purchase and begin construction on this 120 by 60 foot piece of property. He's not only given us this property, but he's given us a vision, a vision to construct a ministry center to benefit his kingdom here in La Ceiba. With this ministry center, we hope to address the physical, spiritual, and emotional needs of the people in the surrounding communities. La Ceiba is a city of 250,000 people on the north coast of Honduras. Honduras is the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. It has an unemployment rate of 50%. The average person makes less than $4,000 a year, and less than one-third of the kids attend school beyond the sixth grade. In recent years, Honduras has seen an increase in drug trafficking and drug murders, has had several hurricanes, has addressed massive political turmoil, and survived a 7.1 earthquake. The site of our future ministry center is located in the neighborhood of La Isla. La Isla is located in the heart of downtown La Ceiba. So what does life under the mangoes look like? At the back of the facility, we're constructing a dorm facility that is capable of sleeping up to 60 short-term missionaries in a modern and secure environment. In addition to quality bathrooms and sleeping facilities, this dormitory will be complete with an apartment for long-term missionaries to sleep on site, a recreation room, and an industrial laundry room. At the front of the property, there will be a two-story building that will house multiple ministries. On the first floor, there will be an industrial kitchen, a street children's drop-in center to provide for the physical and spiritual needs of homeless kids, and a medical clinic. On the second story will be a classroom facility. During the day, it will be used as a private Christian bilingual high school, and at night, it will be used as a theological seminary. Off to the side will be a one-room church to address the spiritual needs of the people of La Ceiba. Under the mango tree will be a site for hammocks or park benches and will be perfect for reading, relaxation, or play. Of course, the completion of this ministry center is going to take time, finances, and prayer. We're confident that when it's done, it will result in a large amount of glory for Jesus Christ and the winning of souls for his kingdom. But besides, who wouldn't want to be part of life under the mangoes? If you would like to learn more about our ministry or this ministry center, you can reach us on the web, via phone, or via email. We appreciate you prayerfully considering how God will use you to benefit His kingdom in La Ceiba, Honduras. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you.